A very good evening to all the participants. Uh, my name is uh, Dr. Vignesh. I'm part of the National Digital Library of India team. We are one of the co-organizers along with uh, Niti Aayog, Ministry of Education and CBSC. And uh, we have been organizing a series of webinars uh, for this uh, 25th Silver Jubilee year, uh, PN Panika National Reading and Digital Reading Month celebrations. And today is the uh, fifth session. Uh, today's session is on uh, evolution of knowledge resources over a period of time. And uh, we have our, uh, uh, one of the key experts uh, in this domain, uh, uh, Dr. P. Permal, uh, who was the conservator of uh, the Tanjay Saraswati Mahal uh, Library. And uh, he has been associated with various uh, uh, manuscripts, uh, uh, what do you call, uh, man, uh, manuscripts, uh, uh, manage, uh, management of uh, manuscripts uh, across the country. He has been consulting for various uh, programs. And uh, last year also he was there and he uh, spread amazing uh, information among the library professionals. How the libraries can keep up post COVID, uh, library professional can manage their libraries post COVID. That was a very uh, informative, highly uh, knowledgeable session. And today he's going to talk to us about uh, evolution of knowledge resources over a period of time. And we are very uh, pleased to have you for this session, sir. We, we welcome you wholeheartedly for this session. Uh, now I request uh, Balakopalji to formally welcome our uh, resource person and we can uh, start the session. Over to Balakopal, sir. Dr. Vignesh ji, uh, Dr. Perimai ji, and all my friends and colleagues attending this webinar. I am really fascinated to hear the uh, Dr. Perimai's uh, very, uh, what you call, very informative talk. Last year, uh, he manuscript, uh, the, his uh, talk on manuscript and using the manuscript libraries, using technology, digital technology uh, to strengthen this manuscript library was amazing. In fact, uh, his Saraswati Vidyalaya, Saraswati Vidyalaya, I think, uh, at Tanjau is doing a, a marvelous work in this field. Uh, that's why uh, even though I had some three series of webinar today, but I am I am uh, I love to attend this webinar. I am I earmarked this time for this uh, national webinar on this evolution of uh, evolution of knowledge societies uh, through digital library uh, digital technology. And I am grateful to Dr. Vignesh to invite him to this August meeting, and uh, I am inviting him uh, for this uh, meeting uh, uh, with the uh, because the government of on the representation on the because PN Panikar National Reading Month celebration, 25th PN Panikar National Reading Celebration is jointly organized by various organizations, including the Government of India, Government of Kerala, uh, the Niti Ayo, uh, of course, uh, the Digital Library Movement of Kerala, and a lot of organizations, a lot of organizations are partnering with us, and with all their uh, strength, they are marching ahead, and we love to hear Dr. Perimalji and uh, I welcome Dr. Perimalji officially, uh, and uh, I request him to kindly deliver his, uh, kindly uh, start his uh, discussions on this point, the presentation, not discussion, presentation on this very valid uh, title. Thank you, Dr. Perimalji. Over to you, Dr. Perimalji. Thank you, sir. I am very thankful to uh, you and uh, uh, Dr. Uh, our Vignesh uh, for giving this opportunity to share my experience uh, with uh, uh, the participants. Actually, the knowledge, what is knowledge? Knowledge is the experience of our ancestors. Our ancestors, they, they have the experience. Uh, they want to record in various uh, materials. Actually, early days, uh, the knowledge was shared with uh, uh, mouth to mouth. That is called uh, uh, surudhi, surudhi. Later, they have, uh, uh, they, 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 it is necessary to record the uh, information in various uh, uh, materials. So today we are going to uh, see the materials, what they have used in the ancient days uh, through the PowerPoint program. Uh, yes, sir, I, I, I have oh, just yeah. given permission, so you can yeah, 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 please. Yeah, please. I've just given you, kindly yeah, try. Uh, yeah, please.
Sir, can you share it? I no, have no, it no. Uh, yeah, no, I, I can. Just click on that green color button, share screen. Oh, okay. Say, so I'm uh, Dr. Pirmala. I'm okay. I was a conservator of Saraswati Maha Library. I was, con I was a, basically, I'm a librarian. I had a, a specialization of how to preserve the books and manuscripts. Just to hear now, I just I want to share my experience uh, and uh, knowledge with you. Actually, the knowledge material we can have uh, because uh, I already mentioned that uh, our ancestors uh, uh, initially mouth to mouth by verbal, the, that is called uh, Surudi. So in that way, most of the people, they were hearing and they recorded the uh, knowledge, by the way. But later, it was necessitated to record in, uh, in a written form or various uh, material form. That uh, things we can just, we can discuss. That uh, I am uh, classifying that things in a three traditional material and paper-based material and non-book material. So what are the traditional material? We can say there's a traditional materials are various materials used uh, in whole world. We can see the earliest uh, uh, traditional writing material was uh, stone. Stone was the earliest writing material. We can have the evidence of uh, third century BC. We have the, the earliest uh, stone materials are there. And even uh, uh, because the people, they, our, our ancestors, they lived in the hills and mountains only. So they have used, they were uh, recorded in the stone. The writing is a two type of writing in the whole world they have used. One is the engraving technique and another one is the surface writing technique. So mostly in South India, we can find all the things are engraving. Engraving is sizzling, by just a way sizzling. The same technique they followed in various farms also. So the stone was the first thing, but in various other places. So any script in circular form, they have written in the uh, stone uh, in the sizzling engraving technique. Any letters uh, in, in a stable form they have used with the uh, surface writing. So the some place some places they have used uh, so they have taken some leaf or color and they have written on the stone. So the both the things are in India we have a uh, both the type of writing was familiar. The stone was the earliest uh, in the whole world. We can say that stone writing uh, from uh, third century BC onwards uh, the earliest. Uh, Stone writing as available in India was uh, that century BC, but but uh, because the people they from the mountain they they went to uh, near river uh, sites. So near river sites, uh, automatically they found some of the uh, clay tablets. Yeah, because they, they put that clay and they have found the the, the, the marking on the clay will be permanent. They, 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 so they have prepared the clay and they written on clay. So most of the clay tablets all over the world, clay tablets also they have. So we, even Babylonia, we can find the a separate library for clay tablets. And even bricks also on the same day, same way the bricks also. But previously, unbacked, uh, brick and uh, clay tablets were used. Later, it was uh, accidentally it will fall, fall into fire, so it will be uh, got very hard. So that's uh, so uh, backing now for the bricks uh, and uh, bricks and uh, clay tablets. They put it in a fire and they have used it that way. Whatever may be, when we are removing, when we are handling these uh, uh, bricks so from one place to other place or clay tablets from one place to other place, uh, it will be abrasion. It will be break. So they found they search for a, a material a materials which is not a broken, but it's sort of long lasting. So they found the metal seeds. Metal seeds, all type of metals they have used. Gold they use, silver they use, copper they use, lead also they use, and even iron also used. You can see the earliest uh, king to king uh, records uh, the documents and uh, uh, some of the documents records are in golden form. And the silver they use mostly for uh, uh, the temple writings of mantras, entras also. Copper plates are common for writing all these things. Lead was used in foreign countries, not in India. But iron was used even in India and other places. These are the materials. When we see these are the materials are called, uh, these are the uh, inorganic material because this is a long lasting part. But it needs a special skill for writing all this material. 
So they want the so they check some other material called soft material for writing for everybody. In that way, the earliest material in India, in the, in the whole world, we can find the organic material is papyrus. Papyrus is a nothing but a, a reed. It is a cut uh, from a, 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 a reed, a, a riverbed reed. They cut in a uniform size and they slash it in a very, very thin form and they arrange it vertically and horizontally and press it. It will just form a plate form. So they return on their play, that type of things. So the papyrus. So the even we, have, we are having this 3,000 years old papyrus is in the whole uh, 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 Egypt. Papyrus was used in the Nile River, Egypt only. But nowadays we, we have the oldest paper, uh, papyrus materials in uh, in British Library, British Museum also. But in India we have a uh, various type of materials they have used. So it's plant based leaves they have used, uh, bark they have used, plant they have used. So leaf means uh, they have used uh, palm leaf as uh, one of the material they have used for all over the uh, in uh, South India and North India. Uh, this uh, palm leaf was one of the writing material. The palm leaf was the writing technique of the palm leaf was uh, spread from it here to Ch 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 Sri Lanka and then Thailand and uh, Indonesia, all the places also. But only South Asian countries only they have written palm leaf. But other places, even other Western countries, they have palm leaf, but it is not written there. But they all their manuscripts are taken from the South Asian countries. Bark was another thing, bark. Bark all over the world they have used bark. Various trees are they used it. So they, because uh, uh, the bark means uh, the liber, it's called the liber. Liber means library, the word the library came from the uh, bark manuscripts only. Like that in India, India we, we have uh, two type of bark they have used it. One is called uh, um, patra. that is a bridge bark. Bridge bark is nothing but uh, one of the uh, tree, uh, uh, grows in the uh, uh, Himalayan uh, my, uh, mountain in the 14,000 altitude. When the some 20 years old the tree, when we are attacking the bark, uh, the bark, uh, when we remove the outer bark, the inner bark has uh, more than 100 layers. They have separated three layer or five layers, separated and uniformly cut. Uh, they have written in that uh, bark. So that was a very commonly uh, Kashmir manuscript libraries were uh, uh, bridge bark only. But another uh, bark they have used in Assam that is called uh, Agar bark, Sanjipat manuscript, uh, Agar bark. So that is uh, an Agar tree, Agar tree. Because this tree, these trees, uh, this bark has uh, automatically uh, some in uh, insects uh, there. Uh, so it, it will keep away the uh, insect uh, say, automatically. And but due to the frequent handling, the adhesiveness may fall, uh, separate, so the leaves may be separated. So that is thing. So then the wooden planks also another places. Tibet even a uh, library is with wooden plant because they put the pl plank in the uh, sea for some five years and they have taken that wood and uniformly they cut and they have written the carved, the carved the letters on that. Uh, so that way they have to even some places in south india also uh, the wooden plank they have used with uh, uh, black lamp suit uh, writing with the lamp suit or with uh, some chalk there's a uh, white chalk also so this in this way wooden planks are used so the uh, arabian king uh, he wanted to create a library he requested the egyptian king to supply some of the papyrus, but the Egyptian king refused it to. So the Arabian king asked the people, whatever material available in Arabia, we can write. So the Arabia, mostly the skin is, the leather is available. So they have cleaned that and they have used the skin, the skin cleaned and they have made leather and they have written on leather also. But even the leather is very motor, that's very thick. When we are seeing, there is there's a two colors, the upper is yellow and the inner is a little dull. So they have separated, they found there is, there is a two layer. So the inner layer they separated and dry and they cut uniform size and they return. That is called parchment. You cannot, uh, gentle eye, we cannot uh, differ this uh, parchment and handmade paper. So this uh, both are the same structure. But the only things in a handmade paper, we will have that fiber striking. But in the leather, the parchment, you can have that uh, uh, hair holes only. That is thing. So the even vellum is nothing but uh, uh, less than six months old uh, calf uh, leather that was used for this thing. And some places of uh, bone were used, uh, used in some places. 
in some places, uh, bamboo was also used with it. Cloth uh, in India, there is mostly in North India. We can see there's a silk cloth and cotton cloth also they use it. China, we have a silk cloth uh, they used for writing purpose. So most of the thing else, the early days, and paper was uh, a material which was uh, invented uh, in one or five. But generally, uh, we have some historians saying that uh, paper was invented in India, that is in 327 BC. Uh, there because uh, during the Alexander period, there is one uh, historian accompanied uh, Alexander called Nichols. Uh, he mentioned that cotton based uh, materials were used for writing purpose. But if there is a cotton based, it means we have the uh, cotton based material, is paper only, because cotton was one of the dry, uh, uh, raw material for the preparation of the paper nowadays. So, paper, uh, because we, do, we, do, we don't have any evidence for that because we have the literature level evidence only. We don't have the material evidence. That's why now uh, China, the, the T-Cylon, T-Cylon, the person, uh, he invented it. Yeah, this accidentally, accidentally. So, because uh, uh, in those days when they are writing cloth, uh, they before writing the cloth, before supplying the cloth for writing purpose, uh, they will beat on that uh, stone. So that the uh, some of the fibers they've fallen down and will, after drying it will be just like a paper. So that gives an idea. So the, he um, attacked that uh, old cloth and fish nets and they have uh, mac it and they find the paper and that paper was uh, donated to uh, presented to the king. So when the king went died, uh, whatever the material that he used was uh, buried in that uh, uh, his burial ground. Some 300 years old, uh, three years back, there is a Dr. Goldstein, a historian. Uh, he searched his so open various uh, burial grounds in China and uh, he found that thing. So the death year of that king was uh, given to the uh, uh, invention of paper, this one out by AD. This was the, all these things are uh, traditional materials uh, uh, for uh, our materials. So we can see this, uh, some of it. This is mostly, uh, this is a 10th century. Uh, stone in, inscription. So the early, earliest inscription we are having the third century. So most of the temple and the inscription, temple we can find this type of inscription to give all the things. But this inscription mostly gives the historical facts only, not, not any literature fact. But only two uh, things only we can I have found in two uh, temple inscription giving the historical in, uh, literary fact. One is in Tirchrapalli, there is a uh, rock water temple. We can see the uh, Tirchrapalli Andadi it is in literature and also uh, near Pudukote there is uh, there is in uh, a place uh, there uh, in that inscription gives the uh, musical instrument musical notations also these are the two things uh, in a uh, literature but most of the thing other things are uh, all about uh, uh, historical facts uh, actually in Tanjavur uh, you know the Tanjavur big temple is a thousand years old temple uh, this uh, they are taken from the Tanjavur temple. That Rajaraja Sola, he has recorded all the information, all the informations uh, about uh, in, in that history. In, in, in South Indian inscription, volume two, in five parts, five part gives the full details about uh, history and uh, uh, details of uh, Rajaraja's uh, administration. It gives the banking system. It gives that uh, uh, survey system. It gives the details of the maintenance of the temple. It gives the details of the art and literature. And you have a, a Natya Sastra. And there is a 400 uh, dancing girls uh, attached to the temples. And uh, the, the names and their houses and uh, all the details, everything in the uh, temple, in, the, in this uh, thing. These are uh, clay tablets, uh, mostly in foreign countries. But in India, we have uh, uh, some tablets with the markings only, writings only there. But this is the holographic, this is a pictorial material. But in only the foreign countries, you can find this uh, uh, in Sumeria uh, and other places you can find. So how they have written, they have written in a clay and uh, automatically. Uh, they follow. It's very simply, everybody can use it. But then put it in a fire and it will be hard and they, they can use that uh, clay tablet. And this is a clay tablet. Mostly I have taken this picture from the uh, British uh, Museum. And uh, there are quite a number of uh, clay tablets are in British Museum. This is uh, SS, uh, the stone is one of the ancient stone, the Rosetta stone. It has uh, the same information in three scripts are there. And this is a papyrus uh, manuscript. Papyrus is a very old manuscript. Actually, the papyrus, uh, but uh, now uh, in British Museum, uh, they have uh, taken some hundred mummies uh, from uh, the pyramid. 
and it is available in the British Museum, and they have opened it. And whatever the uh, paper is uh, available uh, in, inside the, in the mummies, uh, they have taken and displayed in the same climate. Because uh, uh, primate, whatever materials we are keeping there, thought there, there will not be any climatic change. So the same climate was there. So no material will be damaged. So nowadays, in British Museum is uh, maintaining the same uh, technique for these things also. So this is a, a new uh, form of paper, paper material. And uh, the bottom is uh, Bhuja Patra. Bhuja Patra is, is a, uh, our, uh, in our India, there's a, a Himalayan mountains, 14,000 altitude, they have written. They are written with ink only because the writings are a, a straight line way of counting. This is the paper is uh, read, this is the read. And uh, this is a read they have cut uniform size and slice it in a very thin form, uh, form and they are arranged in a uh, vertical and uh, horizontal and press it. And it will, this is just it will form this way. So they even if they, they, put, they put some of the mud in the Nile River mud over it, and then they write it in the kind of board. And the, the, the edges they have joined it. So this uh, this manuscript is in a folded form. This is in a folded form. So they will both the sides we can write it. So one side we will we'll write and then again we will take and do. So this is one of the writing material mostly in uh, the this is our fair price material. Most of the ink was a very fam uh, very uh, separate ink with some additions they could use. So even uh, the letters are not very, uh, most of the manuscript in uh, Kashmir and other North Indian libraries, uh, the letters are very uh, permanent in itself. So this is the Agar manuscript, Agar manuscript, I have mentioned. So Agar, actually this is, a, you can find that Agar Patti, Agar Patti, the, the tree has an incense, uh, some uh, scent like that. So that uh, the bark will be when they are uh, the writing. So no insect will go is, uh, near that thing. So it will be very permanent. So the Agar manuscript is, is also called Sanjipat manuscript. It is only uh, available in Assam only, Assam in the place. Then after that, uh, metal seeds I can already mention. But totally in India, we can have copper plates are very common. Mostly everything for donation and the uh, temple details and everything is written in uh, in copper plate only. So the copper plates are the very important thing in there. And bamboo was used in uh, uh, Eastern countries. Mostly the Korea and Japan they have used the bamboo. Now they have full bamboo. Full bamboo because their writings are uh, vertical to uh, ba vertical because from top to bottom. So they have written even uh, um, uh, 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 some ram bamboo and they have written as it is. And sometimes uh, they they split that bamboo in a small small strips uh, and the strips they have written and they have joined with it, uh, the edge by uh, the edge joined by uh, some uh, threads. This is a way of bamboo. Even nowadays, we can find quite a number of bamboo manuscripts in the Korea and the Japan. Also. And the palm leaf, palm leaf is one of the writing material in South India, particularly in South India. So this uh, from South India only spread to other places. We can say there is uh, palm leaf are two type of uh, leaves are there. One is uh, Sarithala leaves, on the, that is called the Thali Panay, but it's mostly the Thali Panay manuscripts are available in Kerala only, because the earliest uh, materials are Thali. And even the latter only, the Palmara, that is the Palmara leaf, it is a little, uh, the Thali is uh, very lengthy, it is, uh, maybe even two feet to two and a half feet lengthy and four inch uh, width also. So the ancient Ram, Mahabharata and Ramayana were written in uh, Thali things only. But it is uh, but it's very thin because the letter is in the surface because mostly all the records, even even the most of the revenue records are also in Thali also. Thali. But later only the 16th century only we have because we have the palm leaf writing manuscripts we have uh, even uh, uh, we can say this is 3,000 years old, but we cannot say, save a palm leaf from the manuscript of more than uh, 500 years because, uh, because of the climatic change, uh, the heat and uh, humidity changing the palm leaf. So whenever there is a damage, they have copied it. So that's why we have, a, in, in, in India, particularly in Tamil Nadu, we can say there is a, the earliest literature of Tamil literature is called uh, Tolkapiyam. Tolkapiyam is, uh, we are selling to uh, BC 6 to 8, but uh, it is available even now we are in them because that is a, and we have, we have a Tirukkural uh, 2000 years old and even other literatures also, Sangam literatures uh, up to 14th century and everything is uh, copied, copied, copied. So we have whatever we are getting, we are getting a manuscripts uh, before 1400 years. 
1014th uh, century, all the manuscripts were copied only. So only uh, manuscripts, some of the manuscripts written after 14th century, we have it. So that's why the earliest uh, some pieces of uh, uh, family manuscript is available in German. That is the second century AD only. That is Skanda Prana. It is not a manuscript. It is only some pieces of the leaves only. But uh, fourth century manuscript uh, as a Granda manuscript is available in Japan in a mass museum. And seventh century is uh, uh, well, the seventh century is available in, in uh, Nepal, and all the manuscripts available uh, this and this are available in India is uh, mostly after eleventh century. But even that is not uh, a dated manuscript. Dated manuscript. We can have uh, the dated manuscript is uh, only from fourteen twenty eight is the earliest. That is Arthasasra from Mysore only, and Sarsimagal library we have a fourteen thirty uh, manuscript is there. Only after that, only dated manuscript. Before that, without a dated, some manuscripts are because uh, if you can see, there is a manuscript. Every first leaf uh, and last leaf only it will give. The first leaf uh, gives uh, some stotra and uh, the title and when they have started or the date, time and the day and everything is there. With the, that will give the uh, starting date and uh, the date end also they have give it. But in in middle in middle of the manuscript, you could not find any date or any time or anything. So that's why if uh, any manuscript, if we lost that first leaf, we could not find that. But another thing, one only thing is uh, every hundred years there is uh, uh, some change of the script. So according to the script change, according to that uh, uh, the author's uh, time, according to that the king uh, the time, we can find the. Uh, time of the manuscript in you know, approximately because we are not doing any for carbon fourteen. Uh, Thermal sir, your presentation is. Uh, I think we are stuck in this Palmyra. No, no, I'm. I'm just. I'm not. I'm continuing this uh, okay, speech okay. on speech on. Okay. okay. Um, we are not doing any for carbon fourteen uh, things. Also. So this is a this is a Palmyra. There is a previous series of Ta Ta Siritala. This is the Palmyra. So this is not very wide. This is not very lengthy. This is only a, a small uh, one or two inches only. That is four inches also. So this is ordinary man manuscripts nowadays. What we are doing, what we are having, and this uh, uh, normally uh, this palmyra only. But the palmyra leaves, uh, according to that uh, fertility under the land uh, and water sources, it may be little length and things also. So mostly uh, nowadays we are having the manuscripts of uh, uh, this Padmara uh, also. So the writing is like I already mentioned. It's a, a script. Uh, the writing is the engraving technique. This is a, a stylus they have used for writing. So before writing, they just they make that uh, manuscript. The leaves they cut in from size and they put it in uh, 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 some seasoning form. Big seasoning means uh, nothing but uh, to soften the surface. When the surface is softened, they have scratched with the stylus one by one thing. So that is the thing. So this is the way they, they have used both the hand, both the hand. But so the left hand thumb, the thumb nail, they make a small V cut. So this style will, the stylus will rest on the V cut, and it will be scratched on the thing. So the uh, upper hand will give pressure, and only thumb will be the movement. This is the same technique, technique all over the South India, up to Odisha, we can have. But in North India, only they have the written. So they have written with ink. Even now, Odisha, there is a place called the Rakrajpur near Puri. Uh, the village is Rakrajpur. They are writing the manuscripts. Even they are preparing the manuscripts. They are drawing, making drawing on everything, and they are selling also because it's a tourist village. So they write uh, the. Uh, some of the pictorial things also uh, give the give the go with the manuscripts uh, with the pictures and, uh, and the literature they write. Uh. So this writing, by the time of writing, they are not using any ink. Uh. So after that, uh, they will use for uh, blackening that uh, written thing. The blackening purpose, uh, they use the lamp suit with the uh, guava, guava leaf or juice of guava leaf, or the lamp suit with the uh, uh, dadura, this momentary. This juice will be when we are applying over it wherever the glue is there, the blackness will be reflected automatically. The letter will be there. so. A, this is a technique of uh, writing other manuscripts. So even now, even now, India we have a quite number of uh, manuscripts are there. And so it will give it because it's one of the writing material. It's one of the writing materials. So all the literatures, all the literatures of our our ancestors, uh, everything, even medicines, uh, architecture. Uh, as, as you can see, Maya Madam, Manasara, architecture, sculpture, 
சரி சகலாதிகாரம் திஸ் ஆல் தி திங்ஸ் இன் எவ் ரிலேட்டட் எவ் ரிலேட்டட் பிகாஸ் சவுத் இந்தியன் ஸ்கிரிப்ட்ஸ் ஆர் சர்க்குலர் ஃபார்ம் ஸோ ஈவன் தமிழ் ச மலையாளம் கர்லா கனடா தெலுங்கு அப் டு ஒடிசா you can do even as some special script also there there is nandinagar script is there and saraswati is there and some this uh, this type of uh, tihalari is another uh, malayalam and uh, some kannada is mixed uh, letter is called tihalari and uh, there is the same karnataka the nadan part is called there is in uh, circular and some straight line it is called nandinagar so these type of scripts are completely they are written on the palm leaf and this is a, uh, mostly we can find it is a complete nowadays we are doing some institution that because national mission for manuscripts is uh, doing cataloging because uh, 2005 our former prime minister uh, our former prime minister was uh, by has initiated the project of national mission for manuscripts just to survey whatever the manuscript available in india so we can, when we are we, we make a survey so if it is a ramayana means it may be you know, some 500 ramayana sir are there but any manuscripts uh, a unique manuscript if you find that will be we have to preserve everything so that is a way they have surveyed and they cataloged and they have data they created database and now they are digitizing also all the manuscripts will be digitized and they are accept cut in one place so you can because some places some of the individuals say they cannot to preserve the manuscript for a long time so that's why uh, nowadays at least they are not they are, they are refusing to donate also so that's why now the government has taken the digital format and the preservation of uh, all these manuscripts so it is uh, soon everything will be in digital form in north india we can find it is in a manuscript written in the in a ink form ink with ink so because the stateland form we cannot write uh, in a uh, script because that's why the stateland form is ink manuscript right? this is the odisha manuscript so mostly the odisha they have that uh, uh, script and the pictures also even the color pictures and colored also the Uh, in that way this is it. this is all our uh, palm leaf manuscripts available in there so manuscript library in india this we can say this manuscript library means uh, uh, earliest uh, we, we, we are not we are having a earliest stage also you can see nagarjuna university at andhra pradesh near gundur that was that was the earliest uh, uh, university in india that was the uh, second century ad they it has a good, good number of uh, manuscripts of uh, all the uh, things and after that uh, nalanda university nalanda university of the 4th century uh, we can say the nalanda university libraries are three libraries uh, which have nine stories is so more than 10000 people were uh, uh, read even the yuan swang has uh, copied a quite number of uh, manuscripts were taken to china so in the 7th century even kanji brahm was also kanji kanji kadihe there is a uh, university was there that was the thing when the, after that in 10th century, uh, 10th century we can see there is a quite number of uh, temples has uh, library temples can particularly we can say there is a near uh, uh, kovil patti there is a thirunna thirunalveli there is a place called kalugumalai kalugumalai is a, a good number of manuscript library was there in that temple itself and it, because we we get all this information through the little uh, inscription of the temple only because the librarian uh, because the, the that pusari uh, that was the uh, priest was a uh, librarian and he read all the so these all this manuscript are kept in a separate uh, room with a complete uh, uh, stone also and this is the uh, madurai sri rangam tanjavur sidambaram all these places also we have we had uh, manuscripts in the temples also so the temple manuscripts up then much much that uh, so in those days the kings they have created some much of our uh, uh, preservation of our uh, our uh, religions that is saiva might why now much so they had some type of much and even uh, jaina much had quite number of much much had uh, manuscripts and buddha buddha things also but uh, buddha buddha much are very less but jaina much even uh, karnataka we have we can find quite number of uh, much and they have quite number of manuscripts also and tamil nadu also we have saiva much and vaina much they have quite number of manuscripts all this manuscripts because they are, they are concentrating their uh, uh, religious uh, information also in the much uh, uh, some of the temple you can find that uh, a separate uh, shrine for uh, preservation of the manuscript this i have taken this uh, picture from madura that is in uh, uh, near uh, 
Madan Mohan Temple in Madura. It's called, there is a separate uh, spine for uh, storing of my husband. It's called uh, Granda Samadhi. So this is a Granda Samadhi. And some other places also we can find it. Eh? So this is um, uh, much uh, we can find it. Uh, uh, very much because I have taken from the Vismat from Karnataka. Karnataka uh, uh, Jaina much. And every much they have just they, they, when when I am talking with that uh, a much head he told us uh, in southern mass we won't go anywhere so that month uh, that month uh, we have taken all the manuscript and we clean it uh, and we have any man any cloth will be damaged we have changed the cloth and we preserve we apply the preservation and everything in our, we'll do and we will do and that four months uh, and even if any important material manuscript is there we have copied. We have copied because the guru will read and all the sisters, the, the disciples will read. So that uh, manuscripts, there are a number of manuscripts. It's a number of copying, copying the same manuscript in a different number. And that copy manuscript will be donated to others. That, is, that type of thing is called Granda Dhanam. Granda Dhanam. Then this is the way they, they, they spread the knowledge. So those now the Kam. Uh, Kambramayana uh, Ramayana is in Tamil Nadu. We can find more than 5,000, 500, even 1,000, 5,000 manuscripts in Tamil Nadu, Kambramayana. The reason is uh, everybody was very much interested in Rama. So in Karikod area, every house, even a pass, in a house, there is a, in a particular house, there is a, uh, uh, some four couples uh, there and they, uh, they, they make the, the, the the family manuscript in four uh, copy and they keep it there. in that way quite number of uh, Ramayana manuscripts are there and particularly you can see there is manuscripts uh, preservation also of the ancient techniques they have is there because uh, before rainy season they will tack it and clean the things clean the manuscript because if we clean it before rainy season there will not be much problem there is the rainy season this this will fall on Saraswati Bhujai. There is a before our Saraswati Bhujai. So Saraswati Bhujai, they will take all the manuscript, they clean it and they make all these things also. So because after rainy season, if the dust is there, the dust will absorb the moisture and it will create uh, some problem. So that's why they do it in a before the rainy season and uh, automatically it will be keep away. And even after rainy season, they tag the manuscript, but that is the reading time. Particularly in the January and March, mostly they will read, and that uh, that family they will read the manuscript. So that is uh, automatically when the manuscript reading, they just to separate the leaves, uh, excess moisture will be evaporated. So at least once and twice in a year, in a year, when we are handing the manuscript, uh, automatically we can present this. And also most of the Jain uh, they uh, they wrap the manuscripts with the red color because the red is a repellent to insect. When we use the red color, it will keep up with the insects. That is the reason most of the ancient books you can find the spine is red color. Even that uh, back is also red color. And sadhus they wear red color. Even in the temple walls, again, they put white and red. And even the month of the uh, January, every house in Tamil Nadu, you can, if you come in the spirit, the steps they apply red color because uh, uh, due to the um, uh, that, uh, uh, rainy season after rainy season, the micro insects travel to its house. Even to feed that uh, thing only, they put uh, some rice flower design in front of the house. That's a column. The people, the, the insect will come and eat and uh, return. They won't try to enter it. So this is a traditional technique they, for the for natural life and the preservation of the our manuscripts also. This is a, a story in Saraswati Maha Library. Actually, it's one of the 12 feet height the manuscripts are there. And even here, uh, Saraswati Maha Library is preserving a natural, for the last 120 years, they are preserving a, a natural materials, uh, sweet flag, uh, pepper, cloves, or bark of cinnamon, and black cumin. These are the five materials. Uh, they will make a powder and put it in a cloth, and small camphor, put it in there. So that uh, these materials will uh, uh, repel them and these accepts are repellent to for insects so no insect will come there so this is the common system they have used in, in all over south india this is a, a library in a, 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 in a palace there is a palace agra palace agra palace and uh, they, how they have manuscripts that are stored in the so everywhere, mostly we can find in ancient days, even the kings, uh, they have uh, uh, 
they they own and they have collected all the writing materials knowledge materials are there every kingdom they have they had seen days every kingdom they had a uh, library uh, like that only the saraswati maha library the raja the nai kings they have started and sarpoji was a person who has uh, collected more books and manuscripts so that is uh, a quite a good library and even the tipu sultan had a big library tipu sultan had a big library and he had a uh, Uh, in 18, uh, 1799, that uh, after killing him, that manuscript was taken to um, Calcutta and some some to foreign countries. Before removing the manuscript, uh, that was uh, uh, cataloged by Charles Stuart, uh, an expert from uh, Cambridge University, came and they have prepared a catalog. And the catalog was published in 1809. It is available. So that was the earliest uh, thing. They were much concentrated for uh, all the manuscripts and materials. Uh, So these are what we have discussed. All our uh, traditional material. Now we are going to over the paper based materials. Paper based material. Paper. Paper is the one of the ancient material you can find. That uh, uh, paper. These are the raw materials based on based on the raw material in the paper is prepared. So paper is nothing but because the plant based uh, material when separated the fiber and we have some uh, chemical okay, not chemical it's a uh, sizing material and uh, some other uh, material to use the, to just to uh, attach to one another the fiber one another and some loading some powder material. This is the three things they have used. But the technique actually we have the uh, according to that. Uh, Uh, impurities of the raw material we can find that the class weighted so that is the cotton group is the best so because 92% of the cellulose is there uh, it will be long lasting then the uh, rope group hemp jute this is the second level so they say and the grass group is a third group that is available now. and what we are using is the grass group paper only and the wood pulp is mostly uh, all the newspapers and uh, newspapers and uh, And we place monthly is all these things are in wood pulp. So this is according to that uh, impurities available. We can think. so this a method of preparation is a two type. There is one is a, a handmade everything by cooking, beating, and the separation of the fiber and the preparation of the paper is called everything by hand is called the handmade paper. And ever when we are using a machine for cooking and beating to separation of the fiber and then we will do all these things are. Uh, Machine made paper. Nowadays, mostly handmade paper also available. Machine made paper also available. Machine paper, uh, handmade paper is very long lasting because why in the in whole world uh, the wood paper is uh, uh, Japanese paper only because they are using a, a coarse of plant the fiber and they have taken the fiber and they have beaten and they cook and beaten and they have the tank and they take uh, that the watch so the same size of the paper and that was very important. And this is the machine made paper. This is a we we'll put it as a, as a tank. We'll be, uh, heat it and beat it, and then they have taken the paper. So this is a model uh, machine paper uh, machine. So, so the paper machine paper was uh, prepared in that way. We have a uh, paper various type of uh, materials, uh, paper based material, handwritten materials, uh, books, uh, diaries, drawing and maps, uh, whatever may be. So the paper has been even the prepared way. Uh, 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 the Chinese they invented the paper one at five AD, but more than five hundred years they didn't uh, disclose the technique of uh, preparation of the paper uh, to them because they only supply to others, uh, but they didn't listen. So only after sixteen twelve. Uh, The, the, the knowledge will be spread to other countries. So even the, the paper uh, the knowledge will be came to India in 11th century along with the uh, Mughal period. So for writing things on paper also, uh, we can see there is a uh, Indian ink. Indian ink. This that is so famous. Mostly all the manuscripts in ancient days were written with ink. Indian ink. The ink was uh, prepared with lamp soot, uh, gum acacia, gum acacia, and rainwater. This is the called Indian ink, and so another ink is some little permanent nature. This Indian ink is on the surface uh, only that uh, gum acacia will be hold it to the ink. But another ink is called uh, iron gall ink, gallant juice and ferrous sulphate and uh, gum acacia and rainwater. This will little penetrate and will be uh, react with the fiber. So even if you put it in the water, the letter will be uh, permanent.
So this is a manuscript, the paper manuscript, uh, mostly written with the black uh, ink, with this uh, Indian ink. And even some manuscripts they have later days uh, in the pictures also, they have uh, the quite number of pictures also. It's all handmade, mostly in the quite number of manuscripts are uh, produced in this form also. Uh, they have written and they have designs and everything. These are title sheets uh, and the title sheets and the back sheets, all these are really designs. And this is a Ayangal ink, Ayangal ink. And this is a letter, they have written a letter. So this is a, you can find this at the, uh, this, when we are writing, we could not, we cannot multiply, we could not get a multiplication. So when the people, they want a multiplication of that uh, paper uh, thing, but uh, it's a writing and writing of uh, multiple things. Really. So they want, uh, uh, they search for some other technique for multiplication. So they found in 868 AD the block printing that is invented in China and Japan, both and uh, both places in the same year, uh, 6868 block printing. So because they carved the letters in inverted form in a uh, wooden block, they apply that uh, uh, ink and put the paper over it and press it. So in that way, this is a Buddhist Chadagas they have uh, uh, spread in other places. In 1438 only, uh, James Kudenberg. Uh, he invented the first movable type of uh, printing uh, and a movable type of printing. The first book uh, printed in uh, Indian language is uh, Tamil only. Uh, Tamil language is Tamil, but the letter is uh, in Roman letter. That is in 1554 at, uh, in German, German. In 1578, the first printing press was started in India. It's at Goa. Uh, that is uh, Francis Xavier. Uh, is the doctrine of Christian, it is in Tambaran Malakam. The same uh, year, uh, there was another uh, printing process at Kollam, uh, Father Hendrik. He was uh, printed the same Tambaran Malakam in the same year, 1738. 1712, only in Tamil Nadu, uh, there is in Tangupa, Tarangambadi, uh, Jigan Paul uh, started a printing press. But whatever may be, with the printing, uh, this is a uh, block printing, because this is a block printing. They have, just in the top is uh, letter is there. They apply the uh, thing. They will just to put over each and every paper. So this is the block printing rolls, the, the Buddhist Jodhagas. And they have a scroll form. This is a, a manuscript of the, a very thin pa pa paper. So they have a scroll form also. This is a machine you can find at the uh, printing machines. This is the first uh, printing of uh, Kutenberg. This is uh, 1554, uh, Tamil language, uh, but uh, the script is script is script is in a, script is in a, uh, This is the column column uh, printed in uh, 1758. You can find the Henry Henry Padria Tamil Tamiran You can find this, eh? and this is the economic common uh, printing. Book. This is in 17, you can find the year also. This one is seven. This is a M is thousand D 500. This is 100. So, this is T 1600. This is this is 100 before 1090. So, 1696 is uh, the earliest uh, printed book. And also, we have a, a not only printed book, also, we, we have some uh, gazette. Gazette, and gazette means. Uh, you can say this in the journals. The first journal is uh, uh, here we can Bengal Gazette in 1780. So even though, even though uh, we have a printing press uh, from the early stages, uh, the British uh, uh, they didn't allow others to print it on the book. So mostly the Christian missionaries only they have printed. So in from, uh, 1835 onwards, the Christian missionary only uh, allowed uh, uh, other others books, uh, but uh, before printing, they get permission from the district collector because that's why in Tamil most of the books you can read Zorai Tanatta Angi Herika Patta No, like that uh, you can find it. Okay. So this is the way they have to do. In so, so, so 1835, the Christianity books were uh, uh, printed, but after 1865 only there is a uh, uh, press registration act. Uh, we can find mostly everywhere we can find it. Uh, printing presses started. Books were came only after uh, 1867. So after 1900, uh, 
they have a they have used a good paper thing. only after that only after 1900 to 1940 they have used more chemicals more papers were there and they prepared it. and that's why uh, the paper books printed uh, between 1920 to 1940 is are more acidic but earlier before 1900 the paper is very thin but it is in a good condition so the book previously they have put it in the paper in a separate way then they have a, uh, this type of book. A binding technique and proper binding, proper stitching, also the dots will pull open. All these things are very useful. So uh, not only book, uh, the map also very map. This is uh, uh, four pieces of uh, printer and they have used it. Actually, uh, then on the back side they have put it a uh, brown seed. So that's why the color of the brown seed came to this map. So the Indian map, the Yale map, this around 18, uh, 1785 map. Yeah, uh, is one of the biggest. Uh, Atlas available in the world, but I have not seen. But this is only picture only. I have seen one of the one of the book in India, which is Library London. It is on a four and a half feet length and two and a half feet width, half feet uh, height. So that is a complete documentation of what Taj Mahal. It is available in India, which is Library. Complete each and every design will be in uh, documented in in, in in that book. So this is some of the diaries. Some of the uh, drawings, these all these some photographs, these all paper-based material. So the paper-based materials are very interesting and interesting. So most of the things we can uh, paperize it. When we paper-based materials very more, more and more printing and various type of printing. Even we can see there is a library or uh, books are uh, in initial stage books are very less. So the people. Uh, one or they make a locking us, locking, locking. Without knowing that one or we cannot read the book. And even some churches, you can find each and every book has some chain. So they have to tag and read, and they have to put it there itself. They cannot uh, remove the book. But uh, some handling, it's a good binding. Also, you can even hand when you hand it along the upper tip. That type of book. And this is a good binding technique. Was the early days is there. They know the importance of this, so they have uh, the letters and the title and the ma and ma volumes number will not be uh, affected. So they have a raised band to you know, bind it. So this will be full open. The stitching also very good. But later days, uh, nowadays there is no proper stitching is there. This is a British library, one of the British museum library. But now this is only a if there is no library. There is only a hall is there because we now a new British library was. Uh, Separately built for a ninth story building, but now this is the old building of the British Library. In we know that uh, our uh, knowledge uh, or storage evolution, the computer uh, typewriting was one of the machine, but nowadays we are not very. After typing, type typing maybe three copies we can we can uh, cop making with the three paper only three copies only type. But we want some more. There is a separate stencil cutting. So this Aronia machine was there. So the Aronia was uh, used for uh, uh, printing of uh, more number of copies in those days. Little improvement there. We have a uh, electronic typing. Just whatever we have to type and we can store and we can print it number of copies also. But always after that, it is a uh, copy of uh, Java's copies are there. So the various materials we have a uh, uh, turbulent uh, uh, development in uh, our uh, things. Uh, So this is a way we can get. So all the books and everything are that they have used, it. and the National Library is another important place in in Calcutta. So the whatever books available in India must be there, and that is the thing they have used there. From the academic library, research university, college library, school library, and public library also in various things, special libraries. Nowadays, all these things now we have kept it to the National Digital Library also. One of the library, all the information knowledge is are keeping in very similar form. See, we have a, a act also because for uh, we we must uh, all the pe people are uh, right to uh, read the books. So the public library act was created in 1949 in Tamil Nadu. Like that, in every state also they have a public library act. Like that, then another act in the 1954 book delivery act is there. Book delivery act means. Uh, Any publisher, any author, any actor, if a publisher is publishing a book, 
they must deposit four books to four national, uh, one national library and four national importance library. There's National Library Calcutta and the Kanimara Library uh, Chennai and Central Library Bombay and Public Library Delhi. This is a compulsory, but nowadays uh, the because of the scarcity of the staff and everything in place and everything, they are not concentrating. Otherwise, every publisher, so it, it is a, in foreign countries, they are not have, they are having all these things. Every book, whatever the book printed in that month uh, must be recorded in that uh, British Library. So the British Library have a complete list and they say, uh, and 31st, uh, uh, they will send all the details to other libraries. So everybody will be taking whatever the books uh, uh, came last month. What are the books available in particular in that way? And right to freedom of education. In that way also, over the school ministry, they have the libraries. So this is it. And we have to control the uh, books and things from the ISB and the Indian standard book number. Now India also over book number. If the number is enough to prove all the details of them, like that ISS and Indian standard serial numbers are there. And even the copyright is important for them. But every author must have the copyright uh, uh, at least the author will live, and after the death of the author, 60 years, uh, the book must be under the name of the author. Nobody can accept that. But in India, they are not bothered about it, but in foreign countries, they are very much keen on the copyright. Okay? Only if, they, if they, even a book was uh, reprinted, uh, the copyright was, uh, copyright was uh, uh, again was the uh, new, new thing. So, non book material. So whatever the discuss it in the non-book material. Non-book material, you can say this uh, microfilm was the earliest important thing, mostly microfilm, just a photographic technique, a film. It's a hundred feet film with uh, uh, some nearing 800 to 600 to 800 uh, frames of that. So there we can find that uh, books and uh, photographic technique. It's a separate uh, machine, just a cine camera, and we can put the book and we will keep it in there. So this is a 200, 200 to 300 years, we can uh, save that uh, microfilm for a long time. And we can put reproduce, uh, reproduce another photographic technique, which is a reprint also. And we, we, uh, there is a reader is there. We can use that reader, we can read in for purpose of the microfilm. And this is a technique of uh, microfilm, microfilm kind of technique. So this is a manuscript technique. Just use a cine camera. This needs and every three will automatically move. You can, according to the uh, brightness of that material, it will be the sensor will be automatically uh, change the lighting also. This is uh, a microfilm, 100 feet microfilm. This is called a microfish. Microfish. This is the earliest, uh, is one of the things. You can see just uh, two, uh, is, uh, nearing 270 pages can be preserved uh, in a single seat. So one side is a 15 line and another is a 18 line. This we can see uh, 270 pages can be preserved. In those, just uh, even some years back, you can see every book has some CD about that book. Like that in the early days, uh, or around the 1960s, uh, 70s, uh, every book has some uh, microfiche also. The microfiche will be stored And the, the, this also has a separate uh, reading reader. So we can use that reader for reading purpose. And even reader come printers also there. When whichever page you want to, you can, you can take a printer. This is nowadays, uh, it is not there. This is a photographic technique. So now the digitalization. Digitalization means, uh, we can say digitalization. Typing typing on computer is also digitalization. And nowadays, mostly, we are using camera, digital imaging, imaging operation. Image, the scanner. Uh, uh, flat bit, overhead, and even the camera. These are the image cap uh, capturing. So the image capturing is there. Now this is actually, the images nowadays is such a, previously only whatever the typing is only such a, but now image ca capturing also, we make it in uh, uh, the PDF also, we can use it for such a, you know, there is a various uh, techniques of that. So now they say, this is uh, mostly a digital, modern digital library, and so on, quality like quality. But the British Library are uh, having the TIFF in it. Uh, uh, there is a TIFF for the JPEG and the PDF like that. Uh. So the, whichever, for long standing, whatever, whatever the size when you are enlarging, that letters will not broke. So the, the, the mostly they have taken the TIFF and they change to other things. There are a lot of techniques are there. Uh, this is uh, one of the thing. So we can see the material, how, how, uh, 
very fastly we have changed. We have changed. So the, when I was saying, uh, I think in some 30 years back, they have connected the computer to a tap record. So the information is stored in the tap record. Then they have a video and they have this 1.2, uh, 1.44 uh, CD, a small uh, CD, and this is a, a DVD. So this is a very fastly, this uh, electronic media sort of everything. The storage material, very easily we can store it. And nowadays we have, we can read any book, anything, any information through the, our uh, tablet, uh, through our, even our Android media things also. Everything, so our knowledge is very tabletly we are following. But the only thing is we have to select it. We have to select whether it is a true or not, whether it is a good or not, these things we have to select. And then that is the important things in our world. These are very uh, type of pen drive and uh, all the things. But now this is because uh, nowadays, actually, it is a cloud computing also, cloud computing, because most of the materials matters are stored in cloud. After cloud computing, now we have uh, various uh, materials. various uh, other things also there. There is a, uh, now recently I found uh, just uh, from the computer, computer, whatever the digitized uh, can printed, a family uh, what uh, digitized uh, can be printed in a laser technique. This is also nowadays uh, available. So whatever the original manuscript we can reproduce uh, uh, through the uh, digital format also. And again, uh, I just now recently I have found in German, there is uh, all the information, any, any, very, very rare information can be preserved in a DNA form. So that can be a long lasting. There are not, no destruction is there. Anytime, if you want, we can reject it. These are the, some of the, our uh, sources uh, of uh, digitalization sources and uh, various information sources uh, in our, available in our country, our, our uh, even our witness uh, is doing a, a digital library. He is spreading uh, people to replace the digital format, uh, even separate uh, uh, link for the students also. So we have to replace all the uh, digital resources, all the knowledge resources available in our country. So I am very thankful for giving this opportunity to share my experience. Uh, thank you. Thank you for all. Thank you so much for your uh, amazing presentation. Presentation. So whatever I saw earlier, uh, now it's completely uh, new. So every time I see your presentation, I can see something uh, new in your presentation. So participants, now uh, uh, it's open for uh, question and answer session. Uh, if you have any questions, kindly uh, put it in the chat box. We would be happy to uh, uh, put your question to the uh, Dr. Permal, so he will respond to your question. So there was a question from, I think, Mr. Sukhdev Singh. He was asking whether uh, paper was not there in India before 1612. Before? 1612. You said the first paper was in, uh, like started uh, manufactured in India only in 1612. No, no, no. I'm just 1612. Uh, paper was 11th century. It was reintroduced. We actually, paper was invented. According to the historical information, paper was invented in India. That is a BC 327, because when Alexander was came, the historian Nichus recorded that cotton-based thing. But actually, but we don't have any evidence, so that uh, that credit goes to China. But uh, we have reintroduced from land century only. Okay. Okay. So there is a question from: uh, uh, Can it be possible to have a virtual tour of our libraries in India? So there is this uh, one initiative, now, sir. Uh, so we can uh, virtual tour. Uh, it's possible, possible. But uh, it, it is uh, not in a single. We can just uh, some peoples they have a uh, uh, jointly. We can prepare a, a thing. We can do it also. Good. Sir, I have a question. Like yes, uh, so, you uh, mentioned about uh, this uh, thousand year old. Uh, uh, temple in Tanjavur. Yeah, yeah. Can you share yeah. some few uh, insights about that uh, temple? Because you live in uh, Tanjavur. So if you could share a few insights about that temple, that would be wonderful. 
see, Tanjavur uh, temple is a very, uh, actually Rajaraj Chola, he built this uh, temple. There's a, there's a between around 1000 to 1010, 2014 only. It's our, around five years only he's taken. This temple is uh, completely built with the stone. But Tanjavur, there is uh, no hills or mountains, but this temple is built with the, completely built with the stone. This is uh, uh, this is uh, entirely different because now now this government uh, UNESCO has uh, identified a uh, uh, world monument uh, from 1982 onwards. Uh, this is uh, one of the monument, thousand hundred years old. Uh, now we have celebrated thousand years also. But the, this uh, the temple is dedicated for the uh, Lord Shiva. The Shivalinga is sixteen feet height, one of the biggest Shivalinga, and the Nandi is very biggest, uh, the second biggest in India. Uh, you can send the Nandi. And every temple you can see the uh, tower, the front tower is higher than the higher. But here, the uh, uh, tower on the Sanctum Sanctum area is higher. That is uh, 216 feet height. And you can see there is a, this is a hollow shape. Hollow shape, the whole thing, everything. Of my other, uh, other temple you can find there is a base only, they will put it in a stone. But other places are uh, more brick only. But this is completely built with stone. And this stone was taken from near Tichi. There is some 250 kilometers away from Tanjavur and 150 away from Pudukotai. These are the two places that stones were brought there. And we cannot say in what way they brought it. And they have built in a hollow shape. And top, there is a single stone they have covered with it. It's 80 ton, four, four feet uh, uh, height. 25, 25 square, it's 80 ton, they, they covered it, and over it only they have used it, uh, uh, this uh, actually, uh, just I want to, I can close it. I want to, uh, just uh, over it only, they, they use it. actually this was a two-story building, completely uh, recorded, all the information is uh, recorded, Raj Raja's administration are recorded in the uh, uh, 10th century uh, script, they were, uh, in, uh, Tamil script. It gives, uh, uh, there, there is uh, 400 uh, uh, dancers attached to the, the, the temple, their names, their house, and what are the amount they have paid, how many uh, musicians are there, how many flutes are there, how many uh, white part there is a uh, vocal, people sat there, all the details, and there was a dance, uh, there was a drama, Raja Rajeshwaran drama was completely there, and there was a bank system in the temple, uh, Temple. if anybody wants an amount from any villager, they get a letter from the uh, village headman, they can come and they can re uh, take that amount from that uh, temple, and they need not to pay the uh, uh, interest uh, to the temple. They can, uh, not in the money form, they, so they put it in uh, some material form during some festivals and other things, those was there. And there is a, uh, a hole, there is a hole means there is a uh, scale, scale uh, put in the, uh, one of the pillar. So that scale was used for uh, surveying the whole uh, uh, Tamil Tanjavur. And in this way, there was every temple, everything as uh, Sarfu, the Raj Raja was, I think, is uh, this, uh, the, one of the largest uh, inscription, the South Indian inscription, volume two, five part given about these things only. So this is the uh, complete, even now, it is in a very uh, good condition. The stones are interlocking system, interlocking system, because the bottom, and the side, two sides are crushed. And another uh, top and the another sides are some hollow. So the crust and hollows, they will be automatically interlocked. So this is the way, how the government of India, the archaeological survey, uh, archaeological survey is uh, doing it. It's one of the monument from 1982 onwards is a uh, uh, world monument, national world monument. Uh, very, uh, uh, very well maintained nowadays. Uh, Sure, so that's a wonderful uh, information. So there are a few questions from the participants. Yes, uh, one is, uh, uh, there is a question from Ms. Mamta. Uh, due to COVID, everything is digitized. What is the future of physical libraries? See, physical library means, uh, uh, 
if we still uh, our 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 uh, youngsters uh, have some accustomed with the reading of the digital thing but uh, but some of the people are uh, not uh, the digitalization we can use uh, the information searching only but we cannot uh, read the books in completely in a uh, in a in a good manner that is my idea but in future we cannot say because even the tablet and other things will be i cannot say but uh, whatever may be one place any one library there must be one library must possess must preserve all the printed or manuscript even uh, some people are told uh, once you have a manuscript once you have published that manuscript in book form why you are spending much time for preserving the thing but uh, the a word from that book manuscript if an editor can understand on one form but other people when we are reading other person we will give other meaning so that's why there is a, 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 at least one copy anywhere we have to preserve that is my idea but if you are in future that is the only people nowadays the modern people they cannot uh, uh, read they not uh, uh, read all the uh, digital format they can search it they can get the information but a book uh, reading on um, Uh, Android uh, mobile or uh, tablet is uh, not uh, uh, still is not not practicing. That is my view. That's why uh, even though side by side we must have uh, this also our library also. So one last question. This question is from Mr. Manjunatha. Sir, uh, is there one place where all the manuscripts or resources are kept and can be used for various stakeholders? Uh, the one place is, uh, but uh, it is very difficult because of the variation of the mentality of the owners. Owners, even Tamil Nadu, uh, Saraswati Mahal Library is one thing, but like that we have uh, some other places or some other places also. But uh, uh, ignorance of the people also, they are having the manuscript, but what they are telling, so we have some uh, treasure information about the treasure, so they are not giving. that's why our uh, vajbai uh, initiated a national mission for manuscript you don't give that manuscript you keep it your manuscript but uh, before destroying the manuscript we must have the detail first that is our catalog so that is the wealth of our nation and we have to uh, digitalization so digitalization is uh, process is going on by nmm also and we are uh, every interesting our sarsil mall also digitalizing there even tamil nadu they have a tamil manuscript mission separately also they have started to digitize also every government is uh, possible but uh, coordination is very less so at least uh, you people they, because you are the center digital library of india must approach everything and collect all the digital images in one particular form manuscript is very difficult but digital image storage is, uh, is very important that we can do sure sure so as you rightly said sir we are also facing this uh, Uh, mental uh, blockage issue we have approached almost all the <laughs> digital resources and everybody have their own uh, uh, reasons to not to share rather than share. <laughs> so that is what we are also finding it extremely difficult uh, with this we would like to thank you for uh, taking out your uh, valuable time and sharing your uh, experience and uh, amazing knowledge that you have gained and uh, you have shared it with all of our uh, audience today sir we had more than uh, 230 audience uh, today uh, we once again thank you sir uh, uh, for your wonderful uh, presentation uh, thank you thank you this uh, this you have given this opportunity to share my experience i am thanking to you and uh, bal gopal sir and for giving this opportunity thank you thank you sir thank you so participants i am uh, sharing the feedback form in the url so kindly in the chat box so kindly do not uh, put any uh, message for the next few minutes i'm just going to put the feedback form in the chat box so first in case if you have not yet registered for this session finally register yourself from the first url once you have registered then you submit the feedback form then uh, once you submit the feedback form you can automatically download the certificate of uh, participation from this uh, url right so and also uh, for the next few days uh, there are few uh, so all the webinars uh, that we are uh, conducting during this month uh, reading month celebration you can see it from this url and also you can download all the previously submitted uh, uh, feedback forms you can download the certificates uh, as many as uh, times you want from this url so you can just go here and then uh, view the upcoming uh, webinars 
and also download the previous uh, session uh, URL. And then I request uh, the participants to kindly download the NDLI mobile app that gives you access to over 7.2 crore uh, resources, knowledge resources. And I also request uh, uh, you to spread this knowledge about this uh, uh, Commonwealth of Learning's uh, Skills for Work Scholarship, which uh, Balagopal Ji is uh, driving. So that will give you a scholarship to at obtain various uh, online uh, scholarship uh, program from Coursera, Udemy, and uh, Google. Right. So with this, uh, we are uh, ending this session. If you have uh, any questions, you can put it in the chat box. And for our YouTube audience, we will put it in the comments box uh, very uh, on the URL very shortly. With this, we are going to end this session. Thank you, uh, Parmal sir, for joining us again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.